St. Luke's, it is September 16th. We're sheltering in God. We're sheltering in place. And the story continues with young Joseph. Did I mention that he was very handsome? Yeah, he's very handsome. He's about 17, 18. He's working now at the Potiphar's house. Remember I mentioned that yesterday? And Mrs. Potter notices him. And she's a persistent woman. And she's very direct. It's like, Joseph, come to bed with me. It's like, really? Yeah, come to bed with me. And she says, day after day after day. Joseph said, well, I can't do that. I'd be sinning against God. And, and my master, your husband, Mrs. P, has withheld nothing from me. Well, she didn't take no for an answer. And day after day, it continues. And maybe she's beautiful. We don't know. But day after day, she harasses him until one day, Joseph runs out the house, leaving his cloak in her hands. It's like, sometimes it's the only way to resist. It's like, get out of there now. Leave. No contact. No discussion. Just leave. There's many temptations one cannot reason with. It's like, it's like eating one potato chip. It's not going to happen. It's like standing in front of the cookie jar. You will eat a cookie. So young Joseph runs for his life. There are certain situations, certain encounters, that the only thing you can do to save yourself is run for your life. Something to ponder. Peace be with you.